we're going to find the square root of 1 minus 7i. So the first thing we need to do is express 1 minus 7i in polar form. And for that, we need two things, the modulus and the argument. So to find the modulus, we need to take the square root of the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared. And that works out to be 1 plus 49 under the square root, so the square of 50. And we'll just leave it like this for now. As far as the argument goes, let's first draw a picture. So 1 minus 7i would be down here. And if we let this angle be alpha, then this is 7 and this is 1. So the tangent of alpha will be 7 over 1, which is 7. So alpha is going to be the arc tangent or the inverse tangent of 7. But that's not the argument. The argument is actually this, theta. So the argument is theta equal 2 pi minus arc tangent of 7. And we are not going to write out and we are not going to worry about this value for now. So with these two pieces of information, we can write down the square roots. All right, so the modulus is usually denoted as r. And for a complex number in polar form, given by r times cis theta, the square roots are one to the power a half cis theta over two and r to the power half cis of two pi plus theta over two. And we can work this out. So r is square root of 50 and you take the square root of that, you should get approximately 2.6. 59147.95 and so on. At this point, we should keep as many digits as possible. We don't want to lose accuracy before we round. All right, so here I have kept eight decimal places. Now, theta over two, well, we have to take this value and divide it by two. So you can take your calculator and work this out and divide it by two, we'll get 2.427.14302 and so on. So it's approximately this. That is the first square root. Now for the second square root, r to the power half is the same, but the angle is going to be 5 5.568.7.3.5.6. 7, and so on. So what do we need to do now? Well, we want to answer in rectangular form. So we just need to convert each of these into rectangular form. So to get the real part of the first one, we take 2.65914795 times the cosine of 2.42714302. And for the imaginary part, we take 2.65914795 multiplied by the sine of 2.42714302. So if we do that with a calculator, the first one should be approximately equal to negative 2.0089 plus 1.7423i. And the second one will be 2.0089 minus 1.7423i. Notice that these are negative of each other. And that's not uh, surprising because they are square roots. And when you calculate the square root of a number, the negative of any of the square root is also a square root. So this is not surprising. 